Hello students, today in this video, we will discuss the subject enrichment activity 3 for class 10th mathematics. The objective of this activity is to identify arithmetic progressions in some given lists of numbers. The material required for this activity are squared paper or graph paper, color pencil or sketch pens, adhesive or glue, scale and scissors. So let us start with the procedure. For this activity, we will consider two list of numbers. Your first list is 1, 2, 5, 9 and your second list is 1, 4, 7, 10. So we will represent the first list on the squared paper. So for first number that is 1, we will color one box of this square paper. For the second number 2, we will color two boxes of this square paper. For the third number, we will color five boxes and for the last ninth, we will color nine boxes. So likewise, we can represent these list of numbers on square paper and you can also use graph paper for the same. Now let us represent the second list of numbers in the similar way. Your second list is 1, 4, 7, 10. So for first number we will color one box of the square paper. Next four boxes. Then seven boxes. And last 10. Now let us write down our observation from these two figures. So in figure 1 the difference of heights of first two strips. See here the first two strips 1 and 2. We will find the difference that is 2 minus 1 is 1. Now next the difference of heights of the second and third strip that is 5 minus 2 this is 3. And in the next point the difference of heights of third and the fourth strip that is 9 that is 9 minus 5 equal to 4. So in all the three cases the difference is not uniform. They are not same. So we can conclude that the list of numbers 1, 2, 5, 9 does not form an AP. It does not form an AP. Now from the second figure, the difference of heights of first two strips that is 4 minus 1 is 3. The difference of heights of second and third strip is 7 minus 4 again 3. And the difference of heights of third and fourth strip that is 10 minus 7 is again 3. So we can clearly Observe that this difference is uniform. We are getting the same value 3. So we can conclude that the list of numbers 1, 4, 7, 10 does form an AP. Right? So the result of this activity is any given list of numbers say A1, A2, A3 is an AP if the difference is a2 minus a1, a3 minus a2 gives the same value. That is, your common difference remains constant. Thank you for watching this video. You can find the PDF of this activity in the description box. Keep learning.